much are you gonna charge for that beautiful set of nails? Today's situation is that your customer wants that set. What she has on her hands is a full set of stilettos and she wants to go short. What do you do in this situation? Do you charge for shortening to that length? or is it just part of the service? Also, she wants that nail art. There's some marbling, there's some glitter press. What are you gonna charge for that? These are all questions that we've got. Let's go talk to the pro, Tracy Ryerson, and find out exactly what we do. All right, Trace, today we have uh, shortening. We've got a little nail art. Um, walk us through what's in the mind of Tracy. How are you approaching this? You don't want to know what's in my mind. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a very dark and scary very... place. <laughs> Walk us through. So it, it's kind of common for clients to want to change it up. If they're sure. Maybe going on vacation. I think we've talked about that before. You know, school's going back in. They're more active. Yeah. Like they just want to change. Um, and we don't do a ton of short nails. Yeah. I don't like short nails on stuff. I like long nails, but that's okay. Well, I think this set is going to look good it's a beautiful design yeah. by uh fahime our oh, mentor gosh. in the middle east so talented she's amazing yeah are you ready to do the set let's do this let's do it okay let's get started with what we're going to be using we're going to be doing a fill so we're going to need our young nails liquid we're going to use cover pink acrylic to do the fill then on top of that we're going to be using go time Heaven help me. Yeah, what she said. I'm gonna use Manicube Black 101 and Shimmering Sand Glitter for our glitter press. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, so we're gonna be working on these two nails and uh, last time, I believe I told you stuff. oh, you don't need stain resistant. And she has this lovely purple from a new skirt she has, so I was wrong, sorry. So we're gonna start by always pushing back the cuticles kind of getting that separation. This is really an important step, guys. Your client will do this in the shower or whatever and will immediately make it look like she needs a fill. So always start by pushing back. So I'm gonna use my X-Cut bit. You could also use your safety bit course. This was what's on my table, so we're gonna use this. We're gonna turn our electric file onto about 15,000 RPMs. Now, normally I would work with an overhand grip, but I wanna make sure you guys can see really good on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it underhand. And we're just gonna take the bit and we're gonna go straight across. So we're just cutting. Sounds worse than it feels. And we can also come in here. we have it just go straight across straighten it out more same with thing with this one I'm gonna start right on that side and it's important I'm putting pressure down on her nail so this way she doesn't feel vibrations it wouldn't hurt but it's gonna feel really weird to your client and if it feels weird they're gonna want to pull back so we put pressure and just cut in office okay once we're through straight cross again pressure so they don't feel any vibration okay we kind of have it down to where we need it now we have to let me show you because she had extremely long nails and we've shortened them quite a bit let me see if you guys can see this how thick it is right now here so I want you guys to notice look at how thick these nails are right if we left them like this our client is not gonna be happy. It's gonna look nice and thick. Now, because her nails were long, we needed that thickness. We needed it in the stress area so it could support that length. But now that they're short, we don't need that much bulk. So we have to take it down. 
One more thing that I want to explain. You might be thinking, why didn't Tracy just use her toenail clippers like she does when we're clipping them off and it just takes them off real quick. When I'm doing that, it would be for something I'm going to remove completely. That way, it if it cuts it uneven, it's not a big deal. I feel for something that I'm shortening to a certain length, I have a little more control with the X cut, so that's why I do it that way. Okay, so we're gonna take that X cut bit again or your safety bit course, turn it back on. Now let's take that bolt down. Okay, so we're just gonna take, I'm looking down the barrel of the nail, that way I can see exactly where I'm shaving. I take that thickness, I can see exactly where the thickness is. And just shave it on down. Okay, we can even come in here and shave it a little bit there. Okay, so now I need a little taken off back here. So I'm gonna reposition and just come this way with it and take it down this way. This way we make sure we don't have a ledge or anything like that. Okay, once we have it pretty thin to the thickness that we're desiring, we're going a little slower just so you guys can see exactly what we're trying to accomplish, we can move on to the next bit. This one we'll do a little more real time. Okay, again, I'm looking down the barrel. We're gonna just come straight down. I'm always keeping that bit coming towards me all the way through, making sure we're tapering off that tip really well. Again, coming in the back and thinning that down all the way through. Going to turn her a little bit this way and get that bulk taken off. Okay, I think we have it where we need it. Now we can prep the nail. Okay, so I'm going to use my medium sanding band. Now we're gonna turn our electric file down way low. I like to work around four to 5,000 RPMs for prep. Okay. So again, we're gonna work right in that back area. Okay, so we really wanna concentrate and making sure we get it nice and clean where that cuticle is. Follow through, make sure there's not a ledge and we are done. Now, I wouldn't use the sanding band to take all that bulk down because when you're putting pressure down and you're trying to remove a lot of bulk, it can heat up on your client. Only use the sanding band for really prepping and kind of removing the shine from the whole surface. Same thing here. Tuck in that back area. Fall through. All that white paint off. Taking this corner a little bit better. Make sure I got all that heaven help me off. Okay, we're good. Next, we're gonna grab our swipe. I'm gonna grab my clean manicure brush. Swipe on it. Take our fingers and we're just gonna swipe down the nail, making sure all that dust oils, contaminants are off. So we have a nice clean surface to work off of. Once we have that, we're gonna grab our protein bond. We're gonna prep, can't speak today or any day. We're gonna prep that natural nail right in the back. Again, if you get it on the acrylic, it's not a big deal. It's just a waste of product. So I really just try to concentrate on that back area. Again, we're gonna do all 10 fingers. We're gonna come back. And we're gonna do it one more time to make sure we have no lifting. Okay, I'm gonna grab our cover pink, because that's what she's wearing. Grab our liquid. We're gonna grab our new Greg Solo Signature Series number 12 brush. So we're just gonna grab a small pearl. We don't need much liquid, especially since we're working with a bigger brush. So I'm gonna wipe a lot of the liquid off. Come in and we're just gonna lightly touch the surface. 
Once we have that, we're gonna go with the nail. Get it on the nail. Nice and smooth in the back. All the way through. Make sure we have none on the skin. Cool. Same thing, small touch. Don't need much on the nail. And then we're just gonna work it in. I work with my pearls for the fills a lot wetter than I would for a full set. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and file and shape these and we'll get back with the design. Okie dokie, let's do some design work. We're gonna first start with our protein bond. All the way through. And this is what's really gonna make your gel polish stick to your acrylics or hard gel. We're going to grab, yeah, what she said, heaven help me, and our Manicube Black 101. Let's go with the most difficult first. And let's get this painted out first. Get a nice coat. I love how well Go Time White goes on. It's just really got a nice pigmentation to it. For white, it's got good coverage. Okay, let's get that. Let's get it closer to the cuticle over here. There's that. Let's go ahead and put our first layer of Manicube Black 101 on. Grab some more. Get it back to the... It's interesting. So what the difference is with these two, Manicure actually has a sticky layer to it and Go Time does not. And you don't have to use a base and top with Go Time. Okay, let's go in the light. Now I like to cure each layer of Go Time for a full 60 seconds. So we're gonna put it on there. Okay, we're gonna get her hand out of the light. Definitely doing another coat of the white. We don't need another coat of the black, so let's get this on. Okay. Get that on. Make sure we have a nice kind of even surface. I'm not stressing about it too much because we are going to put artwork over the top of it. So if you have any little streaks or anything like that, don't overthink it. Just get it on. And the light. 60 seconds. Okay, let's come out of the light. <laughs> We're gonna grab our tile. We're gonna grab our, yeah, what she said. And I wanna wipe a ton of the gel off. In fact, the tile can be really helpful for this if you wanna wipe off excess. And we're just gonna take it and kinda do some color swooshes, <laughs> technical term, on the nail just to get some of that pink in there. If we wanna grab a little bit more, darken it up a little bit. We're getting really technical here. Okay, grab our light again. Now guys, this is such a light coat. I'm just gonna freeze it for 10 seconds. Grab that tile again. Let's grab our Black 101. I'm gonna grab a striper brush. Put some out on the tile, grab our brush, drag it through, and let's do some veins. Don't overthink it, just kind of get it on. Kind of going around those pink. I'm gonna take some light touches, and then to soften it up, we can grab our swipe some kind of brush. I like to use a gel brush for this. Get some swipe on it. And we're just gonna kind of go in and smudge it out. If you don't like something, just wipe it off. Call it a day. So I'm gonna get those really light veins this way. Yeah. 
Okay. Turn it up in the corners. Go ahead and cure it out for a full 60 seconds. And we'll move on to the next one. I'm gonna pull out. Now guys, obviously we're kind of doing this slowly, one at a time. Usually you're just kind of on automatic pilot. Things go much faster when you're doing it in salon. But let's go ahead and grab our shimmering sand, our cheapo makeup brush, and let's do a little glitter press. We're gonna go from the pot to the nail, back and forth, all the way through. Once we have that, I like to wipe my brush off really good. I won't wipe it on my pants this time. It does work the best though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Because Stephanie cannot be trusted not to stain her nails, we're gonna go ahead and use our stain resistant top coat. We'll get a coat on this nail. glitter all in it. This is why you should have separate top coats. Then we're gonna do this one. We're gonna get our first top coat on this because I like to usually kind of double glitter press. And the reason I put that black underneath, that's really gonna make everything really opaque and really make the glitter pop. Okay, let's get it in the light. I'm gonna cure it. I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. I'm gonna pull on out. And we're gonna do one more glitter press. We're gonna have her tuck that finger behind so I don't make a mess of it. Go from the pot to the nail. Now we are very, very golden. Wipe it off all the way through. I like to really get it clean and kind of go around those cuticle area and that way it pulls it completely out. Get a good amount of our stain resistant. And do our final top coat. Okay, we're gonna do our final cure of one minute. Grab our swipe and take that sticky layer off. And we are done. Done with this short set of nails. Tra don't bite my style. That's how I. That's that's turntables. How I scratch out. <laughs> All right, Tracy. We want to know how much. Eighty-five. Eighty-five dollars. Explain thyself, please. Phil. Okay. Sixty dollars. Got it. We shortened a lot. That means it has to be restructured also, okay. so I charged $10 for that. Okay, so no question, like you need to, because it doesn't matter if you're shortening, there's still work because, I mean, you were showing a great shot in that video was like the thickness. Yeah. You can't have these bulky short nails going on, so you have to reshape. Yeah, and you can see like there's more work to cutting it off, yeah. and yeah, there's just, there's more work to it. There's so. more work, yeah. yeah. So we have that, Okay. and then we have the, yeah, what she said, that comes with a set. Sure. So it's fine. Uh, but we have Look, Don't Touch and Heaven Help Me. Correct. So that is 80. Correct. Get this to 80. And then we have a glitter, which is five extra, so 85. $85. Great set of nails, Trace. Thank you. We'll see you next time on How Much.